away. You're not a member of this club, are you? Do you know him, Yamigishi-san? Oh, yes. He's the one I was just telling you about. Ah, so he's the one, huh? I've heard a lot about you from Yamigishi-san. We're looking for new members to join our club, so I mentioned you. I'm really happy you decided to stop by on your own. And, um, I'm Keisuke Hiraga. Pleased to meet you. He should be the one introducing himself to you, Keisuke-senpai. You're the club leader, aren't you? Yeah, I am. Still the same as ever. Yamagishi-san is back, and now we're getting a new member. Maybe I should be a little more active here. Wait, aren't you a third year, Hiroga-senpai? Don't you have entrance exams coming up? No, I, uh... Don't worry about that. Hey, do you have an eye for art? <laughs> then maybe we'll get to learn a thing or two from you. Meeting you like this can't be just a coincidence. It must be fate. Let's get you signed up, shall we? Just so you know, only club members are allowed to enter this room. So don't forget to turn in your registration form. The art club meets on Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays. But we don't meet on the days leading up to exams. We should be studying then anyway. You don't have to come every day, so just try to show up every now and then. Who would have thought we'd end up in the same club? Okay, I'll get this all processed. Looking forward to painting with you.
chicken tenderloin, eggs, broccoli. We're gonna boil them one after the other. This is a staple for an athlete. Full of valuable nutrients and not too hard to cook either. The problem is what comes after. Next, you gotta portion everything out and then put it in the freezer. It's a lot of work. <laughs> not really. I'm just lazy, so I want to do everything in one go. But if I want to get stronger, I have to do whatever it takes. All right, let's get started. Huh, it's done. This should last for a while. That really went by fast. The work is so much more efficient with two of us. Here, you take some too. It's perfect for a midnight snack, since it won't really put on fat. I know your diet is important for building a strong body, but I'll admit, I'm not much of a cook. I could use your help again sometime, if you don't mind. I might be able to try something more elaborate with your help. Maybe I should buy some pig's feet. I hear they're rich in collagen. Good morning. This is Elizabeth. There is something I wish to discuss with you, so please come to the Velvet Room post-haste. I believe this matter is of great import to you. I shall be anticipating your arrival. for you. Marvelous. I'm looking forward to it. Are you accepting a request? you do anything, but it'd be greatly appreciated. Very well, then.
Done already? Thanks! You gotta tell. some new ones. Oh! All of the books on this shelf are only 100 yen each! That means I can afford them with my allowance. Mm, we can go now. I don't really see anything that interests me. Hmm? Oh, wait! Is this... It is! I've been looking for this collector's edition for forever! This is a collection of illustrations from the shoujo manga I read. It even has a set of new short stories inside. I never thought I'd find this in a used bookstore. And in the novel section, too. Maybe the shop owner saw the short stories label and made a mistake. It's got all three volumes, too. This is amazing. Each volume is 6,000 yen. So that means 18,000 yen total? What should I do? Of course, all three volumes are great! The characters are portrayed so realistically. It's like they really exist. My monthly allowance is 5,000 yen, so it's not enough, even if I save my lunch money. But I'll get it, no matter what! I just need to wait until next month, or the month after, or... I'll get them by the time I graduate! I... I need to hide this where no one will see it. Oh, please don't get bought by someone else. I really wish I had a bigger allowance. But I also don't want to make things hard for my mom. Hey, I saw that. You were looking at that waitress, weren't you? I, I, I'm sorry. Forgive me. I'll do anything you want. A anything. Then how about you buy me that bag I was talking about before? Or else I'm breaking up with you! I used to think that money couldn't buy happiness. 
were friends. That is, until recently. Talking to myself. But I do sort of understand how he feels. I think lonely people feel really insecure. That's why we seek connections, even if we have to pay for them. If only I could be strong and confident in myself, like our student council president. I think about that from time to time. in this world that I'll never have. Well, should we get going? If I stay here, I know I'll just want to go back to the bookstore and look at that illustration collection again.
to make chicken saute today, but I might have bought too much. I think my eyes are bigger than my stomach. I always end up having leftovers. What about you? Would you say you're a big eater? I even make it? I'm sure it helps if it tastes good, but don't set your expectations too high. Mm, let me just apologize in advance. Well, either way, it'll be packed full of nutrients, so don't worry about that. They say your health is your most valuable asset, you know? I figured we should think about what we're putting into our bodies. And if I could lose some weight while we're at it, I'd kill two birds with one stone. But let's put that aside for now. Anyway, why don't we start with veggies? Can you cut the tomatoes for me? Uh, I chose breast meat because it was cheap and I heard it's good for a diet, but it's kind of dry. Okay, very dry. I can barely chew through it. And that was unexpected. I don't usually mess up this kind of thing. Hey, you're doubting me, aren't you? I'm serious. I'll make up for it next time, so let's cook together again when you get the chance. It'll be so delicious, you can't help saying yum. I was just told that the chairman will be stopping by this evening. When you get back, make sure to come to the fourth floor. Oh, okay then. I'll see you all later. Talk about short notice. Maybe he wants to tell us a new joke. Who knows? But I am a little curious. Guess I'll head straight back today. His name's Koromaru. 
I've seen him sitting by the steps of the shrine. Oh, this dog still goes on walks all by himself? What do you mean? He used to belong to the priest at the Naganaki Shrine. Every afternoon, the two of them went this way for a walk. So that's what he was doing here. That is, until the priest passed away. He passed away? Oh, you haven't heard the story? I think it was about six months ago. The priest was hit by a car while walking his dog. He didn't survive. Ever since then, that dog has continued to go on walks, always stopping to sit by the site of the accident. But he refuses to let anyone take him in. Why, just the other day, my son... Oh my goodness, look at the time. I must be going. My son will be home soon. Such a loyal dog. Good boy. Huh? Is he? What's wrong? Uh, oh, nothing. More importantly, isn't the chairman coming today? We should probably go get ready. Yeah, you're right. See you later, Korochan. I gathered you all here because I wanted to let you know how my research has been going. It concerns the shadows that have been appearing during full moons. Now, I want you to listen closely. It might be hard to follow. Shadows can be divided into 12 categories, according to their characteristics. This we've known for a while. We can think of it like their class or order. I've classified the special shadows we've seen so far, and, well, it's simply fascinating. Why are you so excited about it? So... Ah, right. Those four shadows belong to categories one through four in order of their appearance. They may have looked different than the more common ones, but the classification scheme still applies. And that's something we should be excited about? Oh, I get it. There are 12 in all, and eight we haven't seen yet. That's exactly right, Yamagishi-kun. You're quite sharp. Oh, uh, okay, but what are they after? That's a good question, and that's what we haven't figured out yet. Their motive. They don't kill their prey. They feed on their minds. Now, it could be considered predation, but is it really? Is there actually an underlying intent behind their behavior? The purpose of the shadows as a whole. That's what we need to consider. This is interesting. But no matter what their intent, we still have to beat the rest of them. I agree. That's about all we can do at this point. Eight more, huh? Lucky us. According to the data, each one has been stronger than the last. That means we better start training harder. We'll manage. We've got plenty of time. But why does Tartarus even exist in the first place?
its amazing commodity! Good, good. Not. Thanks. So... Yeah.
This way, officer. By the time I noticed the door was halfway open, his room was already like this. I've left the place untouched as you requested. Hmm. Whose room is this? Junpei Iori, a second year student. I've been trying to reach him on his cell phone, but he hasn't responded in the last half hour. <sighs> it was careless of me to let my guard down. The storm was attacked once in the past. Perhaps Iori himself is at fault here. However, if harm has fallen upon him as head of seas, I am accountable. I hate to say it, Kirijo-san, but he most likely... Huh? Kirijo-senpai? What the hell? Kurosawa-san? What's going on here? Iori? Where were you? I've been trying to get a hold of you. Huh? Oh, uh, it was hot. And the AC was busted, so I went to the manga cafe. But I fell asleep. Well, I'm just glad you're safe. So if it wasn't an attack, then it must have been theft. Why would the burglar target this room? Burglar? What else could it be? Someone clearly ransacked the place looking for something. Vandalizing a school dorm. When I find out who did this, I'll see to it that they face a swift execution. Well, son, sounds like you've got a death sentence. How about it, Iori? Was this room really vandalized? Ah, uh, well, this is how my room always looks? W what But, I mean, you can't possibly live like this, can you? What about the door? It was open. Oh, that? I was just airing the place out while I was gone. No one we don't know ever comes around, so... <sighs> I think this case is closed. May I get back to my duties now, young lady? Oh, uh, yes. I'm sorry you had to witness something so disgraceful. I apologize for all this. It seems I grew up more sheltered than I realized. You're not even gonna yell at me? And what's the deal with calling the cops over a messy room anyway? What the hell did I do to deserve this? Hey, wait. I drew that worst luck fortune on the way back. What the heck is this? 
Good evening. <sighs> Are you surprised? Truth be told, we all visit this world every night. What are you saying? Who the hell are you? <sighs> Didn't mommy teach you any manners? You haven't even introduced yourself. Come on, take a look. Name, address, age, etc. This is you, right? Huh? Where did you get this? Somebody's got a grudge against you. And they asked us to get revenge. Revenge? What kind of bullshit is this? Who put you up to this? Can't tell you. We're professionals. Professionals? Oh shit. Those rumors online. You're saying they're true? For real? Shall we get this over with now? Hey, wait! I haven't done anything! Why me? What'd I do? That is not our concern. Your notion of right and wrong is irrelevant. My client's wishes are all that matter. People hear what they choose to hear, and believe what they want to believe. No! Stay away! Get away from me! You squeal most magnificently. Such raw emotion. He's not dead. Doesn't matter. We held up our end of the bargain. And besides, tomorrow this will just seem like some random crime. Well... If there's nothing else, I'm feeling rather tired. collection. Oh, please still be there. Come on. Wait. Vicini, they said our class's materials fee hasn't been paid yet. Yeah, I was totally getting grilled in the faculty office just now. All right, the, the money. I, um, gave it to Mr. Takenozuka when he came to the office. You were the one responsible for that money, weren't you, Fushimi-san? That means you were the last one who saw it. Um, but I just told you. Well, the teacher told us we haven't paid yet. So doesn't that make this your fault? Um, uh, I... I think so too. I 
clearly remember giving the money to the teacher. It has to be some kind of mistake. Look, just make sure you take care of it, all right? I'm sure it's exciting to have that much money, but you better do something before everyone finds out. Don't worry. We won't tell anyone. Wait! You think I... Uh, th those guys... They must think I stole the money. I I couldn't stand up to them, but I I, I didn't take anything. Y yes, you're right. We have to do something. I have to prove to everyone that it wasn't me. How do I do that? I'm certain I handed the money over. I'll just have to talk to Mr. Takanozuka about this. But what if he thinks I'm accusing him of stealing? Senpai, what should I do? I... I'm sorry. I know I can't just expect you to solve everything. This is my problem, so... I need to figure it out on my own. Bookworms. I think I have to pass today. Sorry. Hi, how are you today? Just one? I'll have what he's after. Hmm? Coming right up. One house special. Don't you get sick of eating the same thing all the time? Shut up. You're the one always eating that protein shit. <laughs> Here you go. One house special. But be careful. It's hot. So, you still haven't made up your mind? Is that what this is about? We've got four new members this year. Things have changed quite a bit since you left. We're more aggressive now. Not interested. Think about it, Shinji. Don't let your power go to waste. My power ain't worth shit. Shinji. I made up my mind a long time ago. I ain't going back. You have to let the past go. What's done is done. It's time you moved on. <laughs> you should talk. What? Face it, you're no different than me. Uh, hey, Shinji! Honestly. 